All right, guys, I'm here. See that? Look at that. Code Combat. Okay, so, um, I just, uh, uh in case you're wondering, uh, a lot of people have been first off saying, like, you gotta put your face back on your videos. Well, I've been using my DSLR previously, so, um, if you want to see my face, you know, just go to my website. Um, it's right there. It's right on the front, right here. Just go click it and touch your screen or whatever. Just go for it, I don't care. Anyway, that was way too long. <laughs> Taking way too much time with that. But um, feel free to send me some money. Uh, my PayPal is josephdevelops uh, at gmail.com. And I will take your money and I will buy a a uh, webcam but uh, previously I was using my DSLR and I just use my DSLR too much for like pr real work so I can't really keep hooking it up and breaking it down on my computer it's just too much work okay that being said let's get to the topic at hand here code combat so I recently took on a part-time teaching job teaching after school at a, at a school here called Columbia Intermediate and I'm teaching kids how to program and code and do some other stuff in Adobe products and um, mainly things related to web development, web design, um, UI, UX, things like that. I'm teaching the kids how to do it. And we had some, um, we did like some workshops on other islands and stuff. And, you know, they pitched us uh, like a bunch of these like educational platforms. And I tried some of them. And, you know, I actually had never even come into contact with this concept, but um, something that's been coming very popular in, um, like, coding education is code blocks. Now, I just pulled up uh, Google Images so you could see a couple of these and see what they look like. Here's a great example of, a, of a, what a code blocks um, kind of looks like here. You can see this is actually produces, I think this is, probably Python, can't tell for sure, but it's, it's probably Python. And um, you, you kind of grab these guys and you drag and drop them and you drop them in and you drop all these blocks together and that's how you code. Um, and, and what it's done is it's made coding kind of available to really young kids and, and it's also easier to teach. So the teacher doesn't have to be kind of a developed um, programmer to kind of teach in this way. Let me see if I can find some other examples. Here's a bigger one. So uh, this is like you move around this star over here or something and you do it with all these guys, this code over here. I don't want to look at this blog, but uh, you know what I mean? So it's kind of a new method for teaching coding. Um, okay, now that I've kind of just tried to be unbiased and say what it is. Um, I'm I'm a coder, you know. I don't really like that term. I like either web programmer, web developer, uh, you know, those kind of terms. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm a coder, and I my first initial exposure to this, um, I was kind of working, you know, um, with a with a product called Micron where you can make it like light up and shows different messages and you can send messages to anybody, other people. But what I'm trying to say, and I'm trying to be nice here is I'm a JavaScript programmer, dude. And I could not use this mother effer. I straight up could not use it. So all of this code drag and drop me, despite having like 20 plus years experience programming, I had no idea how to do this. And to me, it's not anything like programming. Um, the reason why it's popular is because teachers can use it. Young kids can use it. You don't need a I mean, it's pretty easy um, to get a hold of. But unfortunately, it's it's really doesn't reflect the actual act of programming really at all. Um, I've never granted the, the type of education style is relatively new. But I don't really see how to convert um, the two 
from one to the other. I have kids who are learning this way right now that I'm teaching and they actually are struggling, you know what I mean, with um with the with the actual real coding. And then there's there's kids who struggled with the block coding that, you know, are doing great with the actual meticulous letter for letter coding. And the experience of using the two is very, very different. So I'm, I'm just, basically I'm not a fan. I think that if you are going to code, then you should code. Um, they're not the same thing and you're developing a skill that in my opinion is basically, basically useless. Um, that being said, when I started teaching kids, I wanted to find something else. And that's what we get really to the point of this video. Um, I'm going to talk about a specific product called Code Combat. Um, now, Code Combat is an educational platform that I've discovered and I've been using with my students now for about two months. Um, it saved me because uh, I didn't have access to computers. Um, and it was an unforeseeable situation that I was in with my students. And I was originally planning to kind of go over the Adobe suite for the last month, but we only had access to very, very, very slow computers. Um, so I had to figure something out and figure something out quick. Uh, we had already built a WordPress site and did a bunch of other stuff. But that all being said, OK, I found Code Combat. I talked to the rep. I eventually worked it out where we were able to buy a bunch of copies with our after school program here on Maui called Stimworks. Um, and and I've been using it and I'm just going to say it's been great. This, in my opinion, is rubbish. So I'm going to just go to the dashboard here. Oh, shoot. Um, so I actually showed you the copy of the class URL. You're not supposed to see that. I can't go to the top because there's some sensitive information in here. Actually, no, I shouldn't even show you this. So I'm going to just go to the next window because you just saw the names of my students and that's messed up. Maybe I'll blur it out later. I don't know if I can even do that. Um, but uh, so you get a bunch of courses and you get a bunch of students. Um, if you are a teacher, you can sign up for free and then you can check out all these games and play them. Um, it, it's uh, computer science, game development, and web development. And actually, they're, they're all kind of computer science-y, and they all actually really relate quite a bit. Uh, I'm a web developer, so I've been making them do JavaScript other than Python. Python is usually a little bit more approachable, but JavaScript is, in my opinion, more practical, um, at least right now. Maybe that might change in the future. But long story short, um, these are like some of the, the games you can go through. I can't show you the full student experience because I don't really have access to it because I have a teacher account. Um, but let's go ahead and start playing a game. Um, mm, what should we do? Uh, let's, let's just do all of them. Okay, so you have to c create a character. I'll, how about I start with Hattori? And then you go in here. Now, this is going to be, I don't remember if I, okay, I did it in, in, um, in JavaScript. And I'm just going to play this first level with you. Okay. So right now it's giving me all this like intro stuff. I just have to collect the gem. It's already set up. This is the code I would have to enter. You know, it, it, it works fine. Sorry about that. It works fine. So let's just run it. Oh. Actually, it doesn't work. I didn't realize. Let me let me go do this real quick. So right now, you have to use your JavaScript to move this character, which is actually very similar to what you would do to a, a JavaScript element on a on a web page. You would use JavaScript to move your stuff around if you wanted some kind of specialized animation. And then it has predictable text, just like you would in a code coding program, like um, I don't know. Uh, PHP Storm, which is what I've used mostly until recently. I've kind of so and right here. So I'm telling it move right, move down, move right, move right, move down, move right. Let's see if it works. Run. Look at him. He's going perfect. Look at my man. Look at him. Okay. So I finished the first level. 
I think there's music. Let me turn it on so you can hear that. I think you can hear it. Yeah, it's real eerie. You hear that? I'll shut up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's just do one more together and then I'm going to show you the the kind of beginning of the next couple and you can get kind of a little bit of a better idea. So move right here and then what I have to do? Click the gym. So I want to move right, move down, move up. Okay. It's easy. Move right. Hero, move down, hero, move up, and then I want to move up two spots. And then I want to move right again. And then that will get me all the gems. Let's just go two, so. Undito. I entered a bunch of numbers just because I'm being fun like that. He's going. Undito. And then he's going to like keep walking against the wall. I tried to make him go out the door. Okay, but that's basically it. These are super simple levels. Um, I'm going to go back to the courses here. And let's try the first level of game. Oh, let's go to like the fifth level. Um, so this one I have to spawn some guys. This is going to be the code that I use. I might just copy it now. So we got to spawn a munchkin, a thrower. So got to spawn Munchkin. So right now I'm doing Python, which I actually don't know too well, to be honest. Um, it's it's trying to correct me, but I know what I'm doing, bro. Shut up. It's just just stop interrupting me. I'll fix it. Okay, and then I got to spawn two throwers. And two soldiers, two archers. Okay, so it's not liking my munchkin. M U N. Oh, I'm spelling it wrong. See, now this, if you were doing. See, this is something you learn in coding. One little freaking letter will break everything. I was spelling, I was writing munchkin, not munchkin. And. That'll like ruin your whole show. So that's like a lesson. I mean, as a programmer, I spend literally half my time debugging my code. And I don't know if that's because I'm a bad programmer, but I think that's a pretty normal thing in the programming kind of world here. So I got to spawn two, two soldiers. Uh, let's wait, what are we doing? Throwers? I really, I really just have to cut and paste. Let's just cop, copy and paste, make it fast. That one's good. Archer. I'm gonna have to spawn two of each one. Um, for now, I'm just gonna do it this way because I'm lazy. it this way now this isn't gonna be pretty because it's all in the exact same spot ah, whatever I'll I'll make them all in a little bit of a different spot just so you can kind of see what's going on here now I would explain it further but I'm just kind of trying to show you the gist of it Here we go, 22, 24. All right, look at them. Now they're in a nice little line. Let's play this monkey, see if I did it right. I think I did. Oh shoot, I went out. Well, anyway, I, I did it right, just trust me. Okay, so that would be like game development. Um, I was basically creating a bunch of games that you can make a bunch of guys you have to kill. Then we get into the web development here, and the first class is in HTML. I don't really want to mess with that. Let's see if we're going to do web development. I'm a web developer. Let's let's go for the gold. I've never even tried this before, so let's see let's see how I do. Okay, whoa. Wait, web de Python web development? I've never even heard of that. Let's go wait. We're going back. That's that's too crazy. 
So you can see it gets pretty crazy pretty fast to where I don't even understand what's going on. Um, which is nuts. And great. It's great. Okay, so we're doing JavaScript here. We're doing if conditions. This is web development? Really? You know what? I'm not going to do this. This is going to take too long. This is like real work. But you can just see that it gets pretty hard. Let's go down a little bit further to my last one that I have available, Computer Science 6, and see like what they have us doing kind of by the end of it, just to give you kind of an idea of how deep the rabbit hole goes, Alice. This is freaking nuts. Okay, I can already tell. There's like dragons, and they're flying. What do I got to do? Collect all the treasure. So I have to write an algorithm that that makes me to go through and get all of this. This is great for web development, guys. This is friggin' awesome. Um, my kids so far, they love it. I tell them we're supposed to take like 10 minute breaks. I'm like, guys, we gotta take a 10 minute break here. And they're like, no, we wanna keep going. So that's that's been happening in my class. And it's not just the nerdy kids. I mean, granted, all the kids who probably took my class are kind of nerdy computer types to begin with but they're loving it and that all that being said is I just want to give a solid awesome review for these guys it was great okay like like this program is freaking sick I actually am going through it and learning things um, and I'm excited like I've been looking for training to kind of help me sharpen some of my Python and JavaScript skills and I don't just recommend this for kids okay let's get that straight I recommend it for adults. And um, that being said, you know, like um, one of my one of my students is so like stoked about it. We had them all make their own WordPress sites, but he actually made a page where he embedded a game that he made. Um, it's kind of a simple game, but you just gotta like <laughs> click a lot, or else you'll die. And then I'm good. See, I won. But it, I mean, this is amazing. This kid made this freaking game. Look at this hottie. Look at her. Um, okay, well, that being said, I think it's time to close out the video. Um, hopefully I can go back and edit out some of my students' names. That's actually illegal to show that here. But uh, guys, I, uh, I really appreciate you watching so far. I appreciate you sticking with me. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, um, so stick in there with me. And, you know, I just hope to hear from you. Please comment below. Please hit the like button. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you thought the video sucked. Let me know if you thought it was good. Um, go ahead and try Code Combat. Let me know if you think that sucks. Uh, if you do, you're nuts because it's awesome. Um, and I'm going to sign out now. Love you guys. Adios.